IT is, to borrow a phrase first coined by Sir Alex Ferguson, squeaky bum time. There is absolutely no margin for error. A draw, never mind a defeat, will be catastrophic. Nothing less than two outright victories will suffice. Yet, for Gordon Strachan, whose Scotland side must beat Slovakia at home and then Slovenia away to land a Russia 2018 playoff spot, the prospect of being involved in two massive fixtures is, even with his future as manager of the national team hinging on success, an enticing one. He is confident his group of players will be feeling every bit as enthused as he is and will rise to the occasion in both their meetings with the second-placed side in Group F at Hampton on Thursday week and then the match against their third-placed rivals in Ljubljana three days later. The 60-year-old certainly has no fears about his captain Scott Brown, who he worked with at Celtic as well as Scotland, being faced by the enormity of the challenge of the huge pressure which is on him because he knows only too well that nothing affects him. Scott has no reaction to whatever you say to him, he said. I remember the speaking to Gary Pendry, his assistant manager at Celtic, one day and saying, I think we should get a doctor to see him. He just kept staring at me, doesn't matter if you were calling him the best player in the world or the worst player in the world, his expression would stay the same. It's a bit off-putting at times. I don't think I've ever had a problem with his attitude. I can't recall him being sent off for me as a manager. Strachan added I can really enjoy what's is coming up. It's going to be just a fantastic, fantastic occasion. The excitement has started already. I have been in far worse positions and so have the squad. So excuse us if we are enjoying it at the moment. When I first set out, I said in my first interview what a fantastic thing it would be to make 5 million people happy. We've done it on many occasions. But we've also made quite a lot of them unhappy at times. It's not for the want of trying. To be able to take them, the players, the staff and all the rest would be just fantastic. You know how hard this is going to be. The two hurdles are very hard. Strachan declined to single out Brown as being instrumental to Scotland's remarkable resurgence during this World Cup qualifying campaign even though the national team have won three, drawn one and lost just one of the five games they have played since he came out of international retirement. There's a lot of people who have helped us change, he said. Stuart Armstrong, James Forrest, there's a few. It would be unfair on the rest of the guys to speak only about Scott. A lot of people have made a difference to where we are now. Yet, the leadership qualities of the central midfielder have been evident in the wins over Slovenia, Lithuania and Malta and draw against England as well as off the park since the 32-year-old made himself available for selection by his country last year. I haven't seen that much of a difference in him to be honest, he said. I see more professionalism off the park. He realises now HES a role model to everyone being the captain of Celtic and Scotland. His overall professionalism is better. I keep going back to the training session we had before the England game. The fitness coach was having a heart attack. I wanted to see how fit some of them were and we did a running session and Bruni asked me what I was doing. I told him he should know as had seen it many times at Celtic. He then joined in. He did and he knee too as had been told to rest. But when he did it others did it, Snodgrass joined in, others joined. Before I knew it we had 22 running when it was only meant for 8. That was all down to the leadership of the captain and it's a great thing. I see his maturity more off the pitch than on it. The boys love him, the coaching staff love him. That's why nothing was made of him coming back with us. Nothing at all. He started off as a guy who could defend or attack. I remember he scored a great goal for Hibs against Celtic running past people. HE's figured out what HES good at and other coaches have helped to him and HES taken it on board. Through the years HES picked up information, kept it in his head and got better. Strachan is confident that Brown and his teammates will be able to deal with a huge expectation on them and win their penultimate Russia 2018 qualifier against Slovakia next week if they perform like they did in the huge Euro 2016 match against Poland two years ago. The pressure has been on us before, he said. We played Poland here on the night the Republic of Ireland got their result against Germany. We scored two terrific goals and should have won the game. It was all down to lack of concentration at a free kick. But we dealt with the pressure. If you think back, we dealt with it brilliantly. In that game where we had to perform, we did perform. The goal late in the game was desperately bad luck. But the way we went about the game, the goals we scored, the enthusiasm and energy we had, that's what I'm looking for against Slovakia.